this is this is part four. This is actually making your motor parallel to the tub. We skipped number three because we're going to do the easy part first. Now we've got we've got two things that are going to happen here. This is either going to solve your problem or just get it close and not quite right. It's, if it's still low, um, th th you're going to have to you're going to have to do one of two things. This is this is uh, this is where your tolerance comes in hand, and this is whether or not you want to do this. And you don't have to. If you get if you get a saw that's that's damaged enough to where you don't feel comfortable trying to realign it, you give us a call, replace the saw. It's not a big deal. Um, but if it's slightly off still, just put a little more muscle into it and bring it up. If it's so far off that even if you move it that bit, it's not going to help, and you need to get a crane to pull it apart. Don't bother with the saw because it's going to be a headache. It's going to it's not going to help you. It probably won't work anyways. Then you call me, and I'm probably going to be there. Okay. Let's pretend that we've got it all straight. We've got everything parallel. Now we want to align the saw. So to align the saw, we're going to backtrack. We're going to get to aligning the saw well after I show you a bunch of stuff. Because right now, we're going to learn how to remove a belt. So to remove a belt, we're going to go down to the spring tensioner plate again, take it off of the pulley. You can always tell when it comes off of the pulley. It's really easy to find out. We're going to step on this, this cord as much as we can so we trip. Here's the easy part. You just unravel it off of the drive pulley and the upper gears, or the upper pulleys there. OK, that you can do one of two things at this point. When I, when I remove a belt off of the saw at a show, when I'm repairing it, or whenever, I don't remove any of the blue pulleys. Um, if, you, if you open up the instruction manual, you'll read it. It's going to say to, to remove this upper one here and this lower one here. Um, I don't do it because I can do it without it, and um, it's one less thing that I have to deal with. If you don't feel comfortable, if you just can't do it, take them off. It's just as easy. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see. I'm just going to pull it out, and it just kind of rolls right out at an angle. So go ahead and give it a try. Kind of a good thing to think about when you're working on the saw is keep everything rolling. Keep everything in a, in a rolling fashion. If you just yank something, it's not going to work. You having trouble? Try to, try to. OK, she's already got it. She's ahead. You, you've got it. OK, now some of you are ahead of me, but we're going to do the bottom. Um, you haven't got it yet? OK. You put the belt in your teeth and rip. Just rip. Or cut it with the pair. Anybody got scissors for her or something? Yeah. You don't need it. We're never going to use the belt again. No, I'm kidding. Um, what you want to do is kind of roll it out. Think about rolling. So you just pull and roll at the same time. I'll put mine back on. You can watch me do it again. Can you see me now? <laughs> see, you really want to see me, not the saw. I know. OK, so you've got it right to here. Kind of like you're, like you're taking out the lace of your shoelace. Just kind of pull. Pull out and away. Are you on the bottom? OK, let's, let's move to the bottom, because I haven't showed you guys how to do the bottom yet. OK. Yep. OK, what I'll do is, um, I don't know if I can make it, but I'll, I'll give it a try. Here, I'll tell you what. Hand that thing over. This is uh, the troublemaking table I already know. OK, the feedback I'm, I apologize for. OK, uh, so you know. We have uh, the older version saw. This is with the number 11, naked bearing. So this is an older version 2.2. Oh, see, little... see the naked bearing here? Okay, gotcha. This yeah. is a little more difficult than, than the newer saw like I have because this, this thing's in the way. Yeah. This, is a good, this is a good chance to point something out. Um, number 11 naked bearing was put on the saw for a type of blade that we don't make anymore. Um, and what it is is to keep the blade in check from trying to rise up when it's cutting. We didn't need it. So we took it out. So you don't need it. If, if, uh, if you need an extra bearing, or um, if you just don't have enough, remove number 11. You never have to replace it. You don't have to worry about it. So, but with that in mind, having that there, what we'll do. Wait a minute. Did you just say I can just take that off myself? Yep, we're going to remove it. We're going to pretend that it was under there. You don't ever have to put it on again. Okay. Yes? You don't have it. If your blade is as, as thin as a piece of string, that's the blade. And uh, we, those haven't been around for a long time. They, we don't, I don't think we ever even offered them for the 2.2 type saw. 
And this has been out for a while. OK. So we, now this thing doesn't exist anymore, right? So you've got it. It just popped right out. It was caught under the bearing. Bearing's in the way, now it's out. So that's, anybody else have the older style saw, by the way? Did, it, did yours come out with you, with you here in the class? Ha, got you. Did yours come out OK? Did yours come out OK? See, troublemakers. They're the only ones. It's ridiculous. You know, I'm trying to teach a class, and we've got troublemakers over here. OK, now we're at the bottom portion. We came from the, my left, your right. We came from here, pulled the belt off to here. We're going to do it backwards on the bottom. We're going to take this thing, and we're going to pull it out from the back. OK, I'm going to put it back on. I'll show you again. Again, you want it, can you see? You want to rotate and pull. Hopefully, I can do this without looking at it. So you go from bottom to top? You, yeah, you go from bottom to top. You want to go in a, in a clockwise fashion, just kind of roll it off. If you've done it and you see somebody struggling, show them. See if, did you get it? OK, great. Now we've got full belt removal, I like to call it. Full belt removal means you've removed the belt fully. I know that it's a big term, but. Um, we like to do that in business because it makes us look smart. OK, what are we doing here? We're trying to align the nose of the saw, right? We can't do that with the blade in there. That's why we've taken off the belt. Our, our, our ultimate goal is to remove the, the blade off of here. And I'm going to cheat and look at the book because I want you guys to know the right number. Number six, yellow groove grommet is what we're going to look at next. So check out, check out your paper there. That's the inside yellow grommet. Everybody sees that? We're going to unscrew that and take it completely off. Yeah, completely off. OK. I'm, only, I'm showing you guys the minimum amount of work here. The reason why is because we're not replacing stuff. We're not taking out an old blade. We're not replacing an old blade. So we don't have to take all this stuff out. Um, uh, put yourself in the setting of, you know, you're at your store, a customer comes in, they're like, hey, you know, is this saw okay? And you see there's a problem. You want to get them in, you want to get them out. Regardless of the fact if you're charging them or not, you don't want to spend half a day with one person. So you want to do as little as possible. And, you know, this is, I, I developed this because I've got repairs to do and it's, I don't want to do one per day. I want to get them out. So I haven't taken off everything. This makes it a lot easier for me. Now, you guys have to kind of zero in on this because I'm not going to be able to hold it and show you. But I'm going to remove the blade now. And again, we're talking about always keep in your mind rotation. You can't just yank the blade off. You can't turn the blade off. You want to rotate the blade off. So we're going to start pulling down in the same rotation that the blade makes. Start pulling down. OK? Now we're going to take a hand and, and just feel the blade on the bottom of the raceway. And now start to pull on that while you're pulling down. Pull it until that blade pops out. You can see how mine has popped out here. That's how easy it is to get off at this point. If it's hanging there, do we? Does everybody have theirs hanging off pretty much? Okay, everybody's good. Now what you do is you you it's at an angle. Just pull it straight up. It rolls itself right out. Okay, now that now you guys class is over. Figure it out yourself. All right. Now we're we're back to aligning the saw. How many people forgot to take notes and have no idea what we just did right now? Yeah, me too. I, I'm, I'm completely lost, so I, don't, I really don't know what the next step is. Um, OK, everybody's got theirs. Show me your blades. Your blades, sir. No, OK. Um, OK, everybody's got theirs off. We've got one more. Align the nose of the saw now. We took this blade out because we don't want to damage it. It's a brand new blade. It's an expensive blade. Um, this could give you a lot of hours. So we want to keep it in good shape. Set it aside. Set it down flat. Do not hang it. Don't put it under the saw, um, anything like that when you have it. And make sure you remember where you put it, along with those little screws and those grommets. Because nothing's worse than not, excuse me, than not having everything. So you've got that aside. Now, I'm going to, this saw nobody's ever going to have. It doesn't even have a cord. You can't plug it in. So don't get mad if I ruin this thing. But that's a misaligned nose. Can you see that? Can everybody see that? Little on the extreme side, but that's, that's a misaligned saw. Now, that's not a broken saw. This isn't a saw that can't be fixed. This is just a saw 
that's slightly misaligned. This is actually a lot of misaligned, but yours is slightly misaligned. Watch my fingers, slightly misaligned. So we can bend it back. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, if it won't bend back or if it looks like mine, again, don't fix it. Call us, replace it. You're going to take this thing, pretend I'm in front, bend it back the opposite way until it looks straight. We're not going to go five inches like I'm doing here. I mean, we're talking a matter of you know, a quarter of an inch. It's, it's not much. Um, this makes all the difference in the world. A lot of those Taurus twos, those older Taurus twos, have this problem. And um, nobody checked, nobody's told to check. You flip them on, they run great. You get a good five hours out of them. Then you're missing a red grommet. Then your belt's worn to the side. Then your raceway's missing and the blade breaks. And nobody knows why because nobody told them how to fix it. OK, so then we take a look. We're going we're gonna to take a look at the saw from the front at eye level. If anybody's ever talked to me on the phone, they've heard me say that. I say that all the time. We take a look at the saw from the front at eye level. What we're making sure of is that this thing is straight up and down. We don't have the blade in there, so we want to get it pretty close, or we want to use our straight edge. So is anybody's out of whack? Anybody's look like they're off? Um, let's pretend we've got everything straight.